Sorry about that. As you know, it is new media. There are many things that are new to all of us, but we're back on, and I hope you're all still tuned in. I'd like to thank, of course, uh, GTEL for providing us with some devices that are helping this happen. I'd like to thank Zimbo Live for streaming to the rest of the world on our behalf as well. And of course, uh, we are live on Facebook, Rubenico, on Twitter, Rubenico P, and on Instagram, Rubenico. So we continue our conversation with Desmond Chideme, known as Stunner. Right, and uh, before that, we were having quite a sensitive conversation when I was asking him about how this impacts his children um, and people around him, his family, not just himself. Um, so, Des, uh, let's get right into this issue now. Right, the reason you're here today is because of the most recent incidents uh, with you and your wife, Olinda. Are you and Olinda officially married uh, regarding the Marriage Act in Zimbabwe? Are you married with a 511 and are you married traditionally? Um, we married traditionally. I'm not. I'm not really sure about the laws and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we 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 are. Right. And that is why all that was going on. Okay. Yeah. So you are traditionally married, not legally married. That is not. Mm. Um, you don't have a court. No, you don't no, have a court no papers reading. have been signed. No yeah. papers have been signed. So uh, right now, um, we want to understand your side of the story. All along, we have watched new videos, highlights, read posts about her feelings toward you how you held her as a woman and a wife. Where we date Stunner is your side of the story. Starting from Thursday, what incited Olinda to take her phone and go to the world and tell them how much you hurt her? Um, what, what incited her? I, I can't say I, know, I have an idea, just I, I know as much as everybody else knows. You know, I had to be told, like I said That before, can't be true. But it's actually, you know as much as everybody knows? It's, it's actually really true because I have right, to be told. Alright, Sana, level yeah. with me. Mm -hmm. Alright, level with me. And it is. Your life has been put on a public platform. Alright? Mm -hmm. There are certain things you've already shared with us. And from what we know, let us know what happened the Come day on, yeah. that she went on her phone. You obviously that's, know that's, more that's than where, us. That's where I'm going. Right. And uh, you'll understand. Right. Uh, what, what she was talking about is apparently one of my very close friends and when who is that when 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 i say very close i mean like really close because i have a group chat that has i think maximum eight people right right one one of those eight people so i'm not going to say it's people in the states or what because this person is actually close you know who this person is i, I know who the eight who people it? in my group are but um so this person came up to her and said uh Des is talking A, B, C, D, said this in a group. And you know, with group chats, knowing me and my friends, we could say something like, ah, and if such information is given to the wife or to the girlfriend, they can get it anyhow they want, they want to get it. So right? did she get false information? She, she got information which she got into, but now the unfortunate thing did is that... Did she get that, false information? The unfortunate thing is that the, pe the person in question actually existed, and this person had existed for as a friend. Okay, pause. Who was the friend that told your wife these things? We still do not know. Okay, and I'm asking the things that your wife was told, were they all true? Not, not, not all of them. Okay, so tell us your side of the story. What are the parts that are true? Right. The because thing we is, know what she said, but what is your side? What's the th your the truth? Thing, the thing is, I'm not here to say, I'm correct, blah, 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 blah. I'm actually here to say, yes, what she said was true. And yes, I'm not going to say, oh, like all the other men, we do this. Well, no, it's not a norm of all the other men. But I had a slight lack of common sense and I made a mistake. You cheated on your wife. That's what happened. Once? Right? Was it an ongoing relationship? Is it she ongoing? Even, she even spoke with the person and it was that one time she asked, she, she asked what she asked. And I'm not the one to get out of the house and then give the public information and that. But I'm happy because she spoke with the person in question and they they gave each other answers and everything. So I'm only here to say, yes, it happened. Right, you get me? Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying, oh, because we're men, because we're this and that. No, I'm not saying that. But You're I'm not here justifying to say, it. I'm not justifying myself, right. I'm not. But I'm here to say, because every time I try to say, look, look here, I'm sorry, blah, 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 and tempers still come up. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know what? I don't believe you, sorry. The people you care about are the people out there, the people that are watching us right now. So if you're saying you're sorry, why don't you go to those people and, you know, I, I went out there, I ridiculed you, and I said all sorts, 
you know, and, and I know I could have fought and said, hey, and I'm just not Like, what, what are you doing? And all oh, fights. And I was like, okay, she's angry. Right. And, and when people are angry, they say a whole lot of things. And can't you talk about it? You can't say You say all sorts. You say, because I, mean, I guess you're going to ask me, but there's also a voice note that's going around. It's actually, Before we get you know, there, you said you're sorry. <laughs> are you sorry that you cheated on your wife, or are you sorry that your wife found out that you cheated on her? Uh, for for her finding out, that's not being sorry. That's being very afraid. I'm sorry You're that afraid. I'm sorry that I did the act. Why I did it, I'd have to explain to her because that's between me and her. Right, of course. Right, because okay. by me trying to tell the people, it's like I'm looking for an excuse, a way right. out. Right. But I'm not looking for a way out. Right. Okay. I can only tell her. Sure. And yes. tell us about the apology she then made mm. the next day. How did that come about? Um, when that happened. She came to the realization this was the second time of her going live on Facebook. I'm like, look, this is what you're doing. Really, it doesn't make any sense. Even though you were wrong. Even though I was wrong, I'm like it doesn't make any sense. You, if you keep doing this, you have a whole lot at stake here. I'm a musician. I've been in worse situations. So why didn't you make the apology? Because no, technically, listen, you were still wrong. She didn't. She, she had a reason she to did be not, upset. She did not apologize for all that. She apologized for how she had reacted. Okay, saying that she dealt with this without all the facts, but in her message that she wrote, she insinuated that she miswrongly accused you. Like she I said, wrongly accused you. Like sorry. I said before, she spoke with the person in question. Right. Right. And things were clarified. Things were clarified, mm -hmm. and you know, we, we, whichever conclusion we reached, it's still an in house thing. Correct. Right. But the way she had dealt with it, she felt like, okay, it was a little bit too much, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You, you guys have known me for 15 years. I've known my wife for close to or just about a year. Right. Really? I'm, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Right. You've known her for a year. So you, you all can't think to wardrobe young she, She's been buying it prior to our marriage. Or I ain't had what and what, what not. Headboards and cars and. Kutukan. And, 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 and I'm not saying what did, that was wrong. What she, did, she was angry. She's justified even now. It's to come here and they got Visikanze or anything. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't hit her back. Right. I don't, I don't hit women. I would never hit. I would never hit my wife. So what then happened for her to then explode again on Facebook the following day? The following day because she felt like, you know, uh, I wasn't coming out and saying okay, uh, this is me, because I refuse to confess. Which She's like, no, go live. Talk. I'm like, I don't do this. I have my ways to do things like this. What did she discover that day that inflamed things again? Because it seemed you had reconciled. You went on Snapchat. You posted videos. It looked like you were back together and things were going to be okay. And then the, the she on, went the and honest, the accelerated honest truth, the honest, again. The honest truth and respectfully, as a man, right. Right, I have things that I do with my work, right? So I go to the studio, uh, I pay producers, I pay studio time, and all those things that I do. The unfortunate part, which is to some, it's a blessing, mm -hmm. I happen to be with these women in power, or can, am I allowed to say that I have money? You're allowed to, do you? That I have money, it's not like that I have this... Uh, I don't know what you call it, manuscript. I'm like, nah, poor, poor, rich. Yeah, poor, rich. I'll get with that. You with surround her. yourself with powerful, so, influential, wealthy people. I think that's what I am. I only try and be on my level because if I was not on that level, they would not be with me. Wow. I have, okay. worked, I have worked for my name and I feel my name is worth something. So while we're talking about finances, right, mm -hmm. let's clarify a few things because yeah. uh, Olinda said a lot and she made a mm -hmm. lot of accusations. You've admitted to cheating on your wife, which is fine. And again, none of our business really, none of this really is, but you've made it our business, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of us uh, took this personally, especially the first video I know, it touched a lot of women deeply, myself included, actually. Um, I, I felt for her, as much as I know you personally, Desmond, mm -hmm. that did not sit well with me that first day. And I know many women took a very strong position against you, which is fine. But now let's understand the facts. As we said, this is your story today, right? On the issue of finances and her claiming that she is the reason you are what you are, the cars you drive, the clothes you wear, everything that the phones you give girlfriends, she made a lot of accusations. Is Olinda your keeper? Are you a kept man? 
who is taken care of by a wealthier woman. I'm going to say, in our marriage, she makes the most. Mm -hmm. She's the breadwinner. No, she's not the breadwinner. Bread is only a dollar. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm, a lyric I'm just I'm just telling you I'm just telling you in the sense that listen, when you agree when you agree to marry someone, right, right, you look at a person and this person says to you, Will you marry me? Right. That is a question. That's the question you asked her. That is the question. Mm -hmm. So you calculate you calculate that in your head or even you calculate. Whether you're on a hundred and he's on twenty, you mm -hmm. will What you have done is you have seen this person level with right, you. Right, right. Because if you have not seen that person level with you, you're not even supposed to be with that person. So you saw yourself on the same level as Olinda Muchitanga. I'm on the same level with whoever I choose to be with. Okay, but you said that she makes more than you financially in the home right it, now. It, it is it is just money at the end of the day, and it really doesn't matter because right now so, we are where okay, we are. on paper, and, and the term mm. breadwinner means that she is the one that brings the most bread into the home, even though bread is a dollar. Mm -hmm. She'll come back with more, being she'll, the breadwinner. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So she's the breadwinner in the home, and she is... So everything that she said in her video, telling us all that she... Bought the cars you drive. She bought the phone that you gave to your girlfriend. It's, all it's that not, true. It's not cars that we drive, mm -hmm. right? I crashed my car. Yes, we're remember. away. Mm -hmm. Right, actually, two cars. Mm -hmm. They're being fixed. How do you? Okay. That's <laughs> right. a story for another day. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Mm -hmm. And the car in Crescent that she spoke about first. I mean, you guys, you all put likes and praises when you hear Beyonce about Jay Z, a jet plane, and what. You're all happy. But when my wife gets me a car for my birthday, it's a big story. Mm -hmm. I could have chosen to get like a cell phone or even a notepad. Mm -hmm. Okay. You all wouldn't have known about that. So right. that, if you want to count presents, please, like even now it's raining outside. If my wife is watching out, I'd love to, I'd love for her to get me a jacket, which is not this one, because I don't want to mess this blazer up. Please, can you go buy me another jacket? Mm -hmm. I don't mind if my wife buys me stuff. Even if she buys me a house, it's going to be Valentine's soon. So you wouldn't mind a house for Valentine's Day? I wouldn't Day. mind a house for would Valentine's you, Day. Would you be able I mean, to buy her the same thing? I'd be able to get her nails fixed. Like right now she's at the <laughs> salon. She's at the salon. She's getting her nails fixed. A lot of women are okay. in that salon. And she's in. She's like, my husband said, you know, I need to get my nails fixed. Right. That is priceless. Trust so me. just to be clear, right, mm -hmm. that in your marriage, um, Olinda projecting all of that on social media, a lot of people talk down to her about, saying as a woman, how fumure murume wako. And it, so, um... I believe were some of the terms. Um, so you believe that Oh, is basically saying it clearly that in your marriage she is the breadwinner yeah. and that's so you're not with her for money. I was never when I saw her I didn't see any of that. But you said that earlier, you said that as a man, which you think about cards in Otango or not level here. So at some point you assessed yeah. her financial status. How would I and know? you said exactly so I when I asked you, are you with her because of her money? And your answer is no, no. that's contradictory. It's not contradictory because you see a person. Right. Right. If I'm looking at you right now and I'm like, whoa, you know, you, you're looking nice and I'm looking nice. I'm like, my kind of girl, she can match colors. You see the small things. Uh huh. You see the small so things. So matching colors and matching bank it's, accounts it's, are worlds apart. The, the worlds apart because when you first see someone, even if I'm walking in road and someone sees this watch, mm -hmm. and if you, I'm wearing a Michael Kors and they're like, dude, I have, I have the same watch. Like, oh, really? Conversation has started. Because mm -hmm. this person is sort of sort of we are the same. Mm -hmm. You can never walk around and see someone's bank account. Right. That that's impossible. Okay. No, fair enough. Mm -hmm. So your music career, right, which is what we all know you for, um, is your primary source of income. Yep. Do you do anything else besides music? Um, I do other things that I would not like to disclose. Okay. Yeah. No kia kia. Yeah, you can say that. We're in Zimbabwe, and it's not something. It's not a crime at all. Yeah, I know. things are hard. You know, many yeah, people I, don't I, even I, own I'm property. Not, I'm not going to disclose that, but what? Yeah. I, but what I do for the past fifteen years has been able to take care of my mother, my daughter, right. and other relatives, and myself as well. And I'll have you know, I had been staying in Avondale, mm -hmm. like a two-story apartment, mm -hmm. which I left to go stay in Grindle because my family had gotten bigger. Right. Not because I couldn't stay there anymore. Right. I understand. Right. So now. When all this happened, I have three kids, I have a wife, there's me, now we have a maid that has to come over. My place had to be bigger. Right. So, okay. you all can understand that, if you can understand, but through, throughout all this, 
uh, I'm, I'm not going to say people are thinking I'm, I'm out here and bash my way. Like, she came and she said, well, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's okay. She's justified. That's what I want to put out there first. Like, she's justified. It's okay. She can do that. She could, my car that's getting fixed right now, she could go and crash the windscreen right now. I'd still say, my wife, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But when you feel bad, fix that windscreen. <laughs> but, so, right. so now yeah. what's, your, what's your totem? Munoyenachi. Um, can I not say? Why? It's an identity thing. No, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. So you can do it. So you can do it. Those that need to know, they'll know. Or they know already. If anyone knows Stunner's totem, please let us know on any of our <laughs> platforms. Um, there's a reason I'm asking. We'll get to it at the end when we come to your comments. Please do send your comments, your questions, your thoughts. We're going to give the last part of this interview to you. This is why we chose to make it live, to make sure that you get to exhaust any questions that you have around this issue. It's always a big deal when something is trending, as he said, number two on Twitter. Um, and we want to address it so that it can be put to bed by the end of this interview. So please do send all your questions and hopefully there won't be any gray areas left. Um, a lot of people were criticizing earlier, saying, typhoid outbreak, sure. Nika, I know you name problems. And the truth is, we agree with that. But it doesn't mean that news is not news, right? There's, that's why newspapers have different pages, right? There's a headline story. There's a sports section. There's an entertainment section. So that's what we do, right? That's what we do as current affairs hosts. As journalists, we cover everything. So do let us know your thoughts and comments. We'll get to them right at the end. Um, okay, so back to you, Des. Stunner, Des, not sure which to address you as. Um, but uh, you keep referring to Olinda as my wife. Your current situation, are you still with her? And is the plan to stay with her after all this? Well, we woke up in the same bed. That doesn't answer my question. How, how else can you be with somebody? Okay. If you're in the same bed and in the same shit. Uh -huh. So all these things that people are saying is just unfortunate that I'm in a huge public eye, mm -hmm. right? That people want to blow everything out of proportion. And we have those that really think, oh, without the wife, he's going to be nothing, mm -hmm. right? And they're so happy and they're the loudest. Because if everyone is listening mm -hmm. and the people that are listening out there, you know how would it be Zakamira say? Mm -hmm. I know big people, I know people in government, that are staying in their wives' houses, and it's cool, it's okay. Right. Like, I'm going to encourage Nyangwe, boys, please don't hate your wives because she makes more. You are the same, this is 2017, mm -hmm. right? I am with her. If things don't go well after this interview, or next week something happens, triggers something, and she says, you know what, I'm really not cool with this, I'm gonna go, then that would be that. But right, right now, I'm gonna go back home, and I'm the one that's going to cook, because I don't think she's, She's too cool with me like that. So I'm the one that's going to be doing the cooking, but still I am going home. I spoke to her earlier today because I like to speak to everyone involved. Okay, I don't know. And I'll that. tell you what she did say about cooking for you. <laughs> yeah. uh, Olinda, if you'll allow me. She said, you know what, Ruben Nicole, I love my husband and I want to be with my husband. And um, I might put a bit too much salt in his food from time to time. I might burn his favorite shirt, but I want to be with my husband. Those are words from your wife. So from what we're seeing, and you know, Zimbabweans get quick to latch on to stories. Um, and a lot of us laughed at ourselves when we all caught feelings about the first video on the first day, only to find an apology and a Snapchat video of two people in bed. At the end of the day, Chaka Fugis at Zimbabwe And we've all learned a lesson that don't get involved in people's stories. And in the next five minutes, we're going to be taking your comments live and your questions, because uh, the rest of this interview, as I said, belongs to you. So five minutes, um, we'll be taking your comments through. Um, but uh, Stana, you, as we watched the videos, a lot of things again were projected. Mm. One of them was that you think that Olinda is suicidal. Is she? How did you diagnose that? Well, she had the pill, I mean, so it's just my assumption. Like, what pills you know, were those? I mean, in, you live in, in the same house, they could have been anything, they could have in, been in the heat of, <laughs> yeah. of everything else, you know. Like I said before, so I was just in person, you know, like, I, I, besides your what, oh, and I even said with you, Anchada, but I'm still there. You said Anchada? Yeah. You had broken up with her? Osaka, you were angry 
I had that thing, you know, but then, you know, we, we're there, so, and still, like I said, if anything is to happen next week or the week after or what, it would have been after I've gone home, we sit down and we talk about stuff, but the, right now, at this moment in time, we have people that are talking and people that are realizing I did wrong and then she did wrong, so I don't know which one is worse, but... We still have to talk and we are talking. So she's not crazy? Is she? I'm asking. It's a question. No, I don't think so. If she was crazy, she wouldn't be at home. And she's not suicidal? Or anymore? <laughs> I don't think she's going to do that because again. Because she I said you made her, her that way. Remember her quote in the video? She said, you're calling me suicidal. You made me like this. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's going to be another episode of anything like that. I don't think it's going to happen. You've got your house in check. My, and you've got things under control. I've got things under control. I'm taking charge. This is my first time talking about this right now. So yeah. I'm taking charge and I'm trying to get things back in control. Mm. But So while you're in control, so that this doesn't happen again, and I ask this on behalf of all women, mm. and you could answer it in two ways. Mm. Number one, why did you cheat on your wife? Or number two, why do men cheat? To get it out of zero. Um, I'm not going to speak for a man. Mm. Like, all men cheat because... Even though I have a whole lot of answers I could give you, but I can only speak for myself, you know. Um, we, we, uh, you see, this is going to lead you to want to ask me another question. You don't know which, what I'm going to ask you. Now, if I, tell, if I say this, then you probably have to ask me another question. So answer it anyway. But like I said before, <laughs> when, I, when I get home and I've explained to my wife, and I think I'm the one, uh, I owe her that answer. I don't owe the public. As to why you did it. As to why I did okay. it. She'd probably understand better sure. if I say to her. I can totally respect that. Not a problem at all. Okay, so I um, hope we're ready for our Facebook comments, our Twitter comments, our Instagram comments. Uh, for the, any questions that you might have to Stana, any comments you might want to give. Um, of course, uh, please do keep it uh, you know, PG or else it simply won't be read out. I know we're discussing a very sensitive topic and a very personal one at that. You know, I think many of us are sorry that your linen has been aired. One of my favorite comments in following all of this, I don't remember but, who but it was I'd, from. I'd, I'd, but I'd, love, can I just I'd love to finish? ask yeah. as well. One, one, one second. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite comments was, um, Some men said that what we go through with our wives is worse when we mess up. I think the only issue was that she took it to a public forum. You're not the first couple to fight. So I want to know from you what your thoughts are on the use of social media for this kind of dispute. Because like you said, it's not the first time your wife has done it. So why why the use of social media for this? And what are your thoughts on that? Um, the way she did it. The way she did it. I'm, I'm sure you know I've been I've been through a whole lot. You know, throughout my career I've been through a whole lot and there's never there's never, never, and I'll say never, a time I've come out and said, this is what happened, it was because of, and blah, 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 blah. I've always just kept on with my work, and I've just let stuff die down mm -hmm. and stayed with my work. Because truly, with respecting my fans that are out there, I do not owe my fans an explanation for what happens in my house. Of course house. you do. House Wait. took the story to the public. Right. <laughs> That's why I am here and she is not here. Yeah. So she can explain why she took it to the public. Okay. I do not, as Stana, I told you you're sitting with two people. Right. Stana will continue to give his fans good music. And when I say good music, I mean really good and music. You're and you're certain you still have all your fans. You're certain, certain that they did two months ago. I am certain. Or a week ago. I'm certain real fans. And I've always said it. I'd rather perform for two loyal fans than perform to a four thousand that just want to see you go down. Mm -hmm. So if I have two fans right now, that's enough. For I you. love them because so they much. Love they understand that I'm human, right? And I can make mistake. I do not have a USB in me that says go left, and I'm just gonna go left. Right. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I mean, mangwevane ma shark semi, mangwane ma soja sevamwe, and fans are fans. So we'd like to hear from those fans. As I said, we're um, but before we do that, one question about the latest song that, or your relationship with her. Um, those that follow me on Snapchat, right, on Snapchat, which is at Stanazim, the, the, or I think I even had the recording mm -hmm. before all this. But when this happened, it's like, it's like a deja vu, this happens with me, right? Even when I say it's just the you know, now we're just getting these awards and everything. Just last week I got three more awards. 
So in two months, I'm on seven awards now. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I mean, I don't know how this music thing works. And even before this story, I was talking to Junior Brown. I was telling him, you know, I want to do a remix for Lord Mari. Okay. So now, if I do this remix, mm -hmm. now if I release this song, people are going to say, oh, are we in Bajagaitika? But I'm always hands on with my work. So the song is not about Olinda. Long story short. No. It so why not. is Knox uh, disassociating himself from it, saying I don't want to be caught up in the drama? I believe you've spoken to him. He's your boy. Said, um, you know, f you on Snapchat, and that you got his money. When are you going to give him? But that's separate. But my issue is why is it that Knox has come out to publicly separate himself from you in all it's, this drama? It's really sad because it was Knox because I felt like Knox can understand what was going on. Not that I'm trying to say. Uh, the thing he had with his ex, I don't want to mention names because I respect both parties. Mm. It was with what I was thinking in my head. The song says, I'm letting you go, but they want to deleted my message. So I, I sent him the chorus. And I said, yo, can you do this song for me? And he okay. said, yes, he recorded it in SA. Right. So, I so there's no way it stays. No, he recorded yeah. it in SA and then right. he sent it back to me. So him saying, I forced him my on. And besides, I just wanted him to be on a good song, and it is a good song. It's just oh, you wanted him to be on a good song. You didn't want him to make your song better. <laughs> no, no, no. I write all my choruses wow. from Godo, right. Tim Wombe. Well, I write everything. Right. Right. So you were trying to help him. Right. And people thought the same thing that I was singing it so for. So, me, did you do something for each other? Oh, were you singing it for Pokello? No, I was not. The song was just painkiller. I just get Why ideas. Why is that all your songs are like, oh, it just comes at this time, and oh my gosh, and, and then they, you have to defend yourself? And they are. And before uh -huh. all this fiasco, and I have a song, you know, it'll be mm -hmm. saying, you know, Narangomuka one day, Usisipo, and if you check on YouTube, it's, it's labeled the Pokelo song, but for. And your own, right? Mm -hmm. You and Pokelo, are you friends? No, I Your wife insinuated that Pokelo was asking about your marriage at some point and that you and her still talk. Um, what's your relationship with her, honestly? I think it's normal for exes. People, people have this norm that you know people shouldn't talk to. It's their normal exes. for exes to speak. No, they have this norm where they say they, they shouldn't talk and right. whatnot and right. all that. Right. But uh, I, I, I'd love to give an example of anyone. I have, I have a, I have a friend like, let's say a friend who's gone out with a musician and they they broke up with a friend and they say, Upina Mukombi owns a song and exes again Gunira. It's either I'm going to do something, but ah, nigger in the Arbunida. Oh, but if they're cool like that, if they don't have anything against the Arbunida, so much ah, I'm going to be in the Arbunida, we know who did be in Mozambique. Right. We don't go to all our chichi. So it's not like I wake up in the morning and I say good morning or what. So you but, don't talk because it made it, you know, the videos that we saw made it seem like one, Pokello was questioning your marriage to Alinda the time that you moved in. It wasn't life. questioning. It what was, was it? Oh, you, you, what are those? You're getting married. I did the same thing. I even speak with the husband. Okay, and two, it insinuated that you and Pokello still speak in the house that Olinda pays rent for. I speak with her, I'm not gonna lie. So, but you said, Nigga, do my name, so I'm like, Ayo. now, Jachinja. Pimanda told me, Nigga, I'm here in your song. Uh -huh. there's, there's really nothing wrong. She is married, I am married. We are people, I'm somebody that once said, I love you. I'm not so, you don't subscribe to either. norms that say exes shouldn't speak. Mukadzi, we're Munu. Would you I, be I okay if Olinda spoke so. to her exes? It's, it's special. She does, actually. Okay, so that's right. your relationship. Okay, okay, we don't have to dwell. No problem. Um, some comments, as I said, we're going to direct now. Excellent Due says, have both families settled the matter? Um, when you say family, it's really vast. Because when you say family, you're talking about... Your family that represents you or Linda's family that represents her? Let's keep it simple. It, it's it's in-house and it's going to happen. It still has to happen. It's still ongoing. It's still, I, I, could, I could get a long I before Makain de Sambudzi, or you offered? Yeah, I was supposed to go and... You know, to to her side, and right. I, I really do need to apologize for everything that is that's happened. The, that's happened to her. Yeah. All right. Um, and then uh, another question, Ramzi Natafa J. Stana Maria Wakarora Yanga Iriyako Ire O Wakapiwa Na Olinda. Yanga Iriyango. That's why I have no car. <laughs> you invested in your wife. I invested in my wife. Not in a set of wheels. But she then gave you wheels, so in fact, you're like a balancer. All right. Um, and then we've got Kimberly Muchena who says, Why aren't you wearing a ring? But I can answer that. You say you don't have a, a, a court wedding. Yeah. Um, but I suppose there's no harm in wearing a ring. You can actually put that there. Does it fit? Let's see if that no, works. And, until, 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 until it goes on there, then yeah. But right, right. now, there's mm -hmm. nothing. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then another question from Soneni. Andy, you said you don't want to be with a suicidal person. So are you staying with her or are you leaving her? Um, we, we spoke about this and we, personally myself, if it's counselling, I'm, 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 I'm going to need some counselling. She's going to need some counselling because uh, we're not going to 
nights is a serious matter what happened. So mm. I'm willing to sit down and talk about this. There's another issue that your wife brought up uh, in her videos where she said she went for reconstructive surgery to make you happy because that you said you could not be with the fattest chick in the club. <laughs> and I censor that delicately. No, you can say it how you want to say it. It's like that one. That one. No. <laughs> Please explain you see, that. That thing, uh, first off, if people, uh, people are listening anyway, I'm going to start off by saying there's a voice note that was made. Mm. Right. Some guy talking about ah, Jinox and Chulian, or oh, that was not me, mm -hmm. and I do not even have my drinks there mm -hmm. at that place that the guy was mentioning. It is not my voice. I like to excuse myself from that. No, people imitate people all the time. All right. I mean, I could tell. Okay, no, I just I just want to no, do sure. that because you know what? No, no, no. At the end of the day, I am I am that guy that sang Daf Korea. Mm. My mom is bigger than. So you like big women. My mom is bigger than Olinda. My sisters are. So you like big women? I don't have a problem with big women, small women, right. or anything. Okay. Like that. One, one. But speaking with so her, this why is a, did she this go is for a conversation. Surgery? Listen, this is a conversation that happened in the house. Okay. Right. Some of those things that I don't want to take out there to the people because they're just supposed to stay in the house. You see, in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, you see couples running. You see couples. They don't just wake up and say, "Now we're running." They had a conversation between right. themselves. Right. Right. It is just unfortunate, I'll say it one more time, it is just unfortunate that my wife went out there and started saying everything to the people. So you had a conversation in your house that insinuated that she must lose a bit of weight. As when we were actually wife. talking, she wasn't here, she was in England, it was, it was over a voice note. When you met her, was she smaller than she is today? When I met her, it was pictures. So the pictures lied to you? The pictures didn't lie to me. I liked everything I saw. We spoke about it like, I know that is nothing, it's something that we can always fix out, we can do this. Baby. It's something we can always fix. Like something? Even if when you have a problem, we have a problem right now. We can fix this problem. We're trying to fix a problem. So she's a problem that must be her. So her weight is a problem that you realize can be fixed down the line. If she looked at it as a problem? Does she? Sometimes she did look at it as a problem. She did, not you. Not me. So because I can't, she, I can't she say felt her. I'm, that her I'm not here to bash her or say anything negative about no, her. No, I'm concerned because, I mean, mm -hmm. personally, I'm a plus size woman, right? I, plus size woman and I'm and going to take this personal on this level, not and, to defend and, and, anyone. And just but to add on to that, I have a shop that sells clothes for plus size women in So Bury. why would she have to right. go for reconstructive surgery, in her words, nearly die to make you happy? She made it seem like she was doing this for you. Why? Even if she's getting her hair done, who else should she be doing it for? So she was going to lose weight for you. Getting even, your hair done. Even if she's getting, getting your nails hair done, done doesn't I'd risk love, your life. I'd and love, it doesn't I, I got cost this as much. I got this hairdo done. I wasn't for doing her. it. I'm not doing it for you. Uh -huh. I just do it to make my wife proud. And when she says that's stunner, my husband, uh, she doesn't you're, you're point. now being very lyrical. And no, I'm, being I'm not. Stunner. I'm, not I'm being asking lyrical. Desmond, who's married to Olinda, Ask Desmond. about the concern You're talking about very costly. Remember, we're talking about this person that is saying she's bought, she's bought my everything. So cost is not a factor here. So it shouldn't matter how much it costs, but it's a problem that needs to be fixed in your eyes and in hers, that she must lose weight. So when we spoke... Because you're the hottest we, rapper that can't how, be the how, fattest chick in the club. Did how, you say those how, words, by how the way? How we spoke. Did you say those words? How we spoke. So I'm going to, I'm, that's what I'm getting at. How we spoke was between husband and wife we speaking in our bedroom and then words will come out whether i was laughing or i was not laughing words are going to come out can i touch out of the agatin dinema looks what he no in the morgue that when i look at she does my looks chichi then i come on i show her my looks i'm going to and my rest i eat it but when she said it when she said it to you guys uh -huh. it sounded worse than you it. Uh -huh. obviously i'd love for my wife to probably wake up in the morning with me run with me i go to the gym all the time i do press-ups before i sleep right right it, it is i see couples running in the morning i see what like i was going to say to you but for them to start running Probably the wife said to the husband, It's up to him. Let's work on it. Let's work on it. Let's work on it. 
Or are you going to put out on Facebook? But no then you try and make it seem like your husband is this evil person. So in your eyes, she should lose a bit of weight for her own good. Right now, it's if she wants to. If she doesn't want to, You're I'm not bothered to by it. I'm, I'm not bothered by it. She can just be like that since it's out there and a out about it. So I strongly feel like she wants to stay like that. So it's okay. And how will you defend it. her? Because you know, I'm speaking to you personally, but as someone's husband. Publicly, she has received a lot of backlash. There's a lot of people that say awful things online. You know, they really do. And some people said to the extent of iwe wakanaru, unga fungo tanga kuchita. So, what would you say in your wife's defense of her physical image? In, in my wife's defense, um, Renako, I think most of the times that you've gone out, you've seen me with my wife mm. in in the high end clubs, probably low end with even. I can't mention yeah, and at church, uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And at church, I'm not trying to advertise places. So if I was ashamed of my wife, why would I be all up in there and, you know, doing all that? Okay. So you love her the way she is? Like Do I you said, love your my wife? My mom is even bigger than her. Do you love your wife? I'm with her. I married her. Do you love your wife? Yes, I do. Right. That's why I'm here. If I didn't, well, well, where would I be? But right now, before you smile and everything, we have a problem. <laughs> You have a problem. Uh, yeah, I'm you saying we. The same problem I'm, you thought she I'm lo had. I'm looking. I'm looking. I, I, I would love to think she's watching. We have a problem. Mm -hmm. I will say I love my wife because I'm trying to fix this. Right. But I'm not happy with the actions that were taken or what happened before all the fights even started. And she knows I've been telling her about mm -hmm. this. I'm not here to lie to the public or just to try and save face. Right. Because by just being here, I've gone against everything. Right. that I believe in. I do not do social media taking out in-house problems and putting them out there. What I just believe in. Most people have been bashing at me on, on Snapchat like, oh, you're joking, you're swimming and what, what. But maybe it was a coping mechanism for you, which we all understand. It's psychology. We, we all deal with things yeah, differently. Yeah, we deal with things differently. I mean, people like you said will speculate on your every single move because you are in the limelight and those be poor. And I'm um, going to stay on it, by the way. Apana kondinoyenda ungemvurem chemba. I sing, that is what I do. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow, okay, we've got a comment here from Nyari Zanzi. When is he joining Olinda Ku UK? Um, Nyari, why didn't you ask me when is Olinda coming to Zimbabwe? Well, why should I go to the UK? Okay, let me not uh, predict. I, I, why should I go to the UK? Just it's like an my... honest question, Stan. Yeah, you don't it's... have to be defensive about I'm it. I'm not defending, actually. Right, so when are you going to stay together? We can just twist the question. It's not a big deal. Like when I are said, you two going like to be I living together again, as husband and wife? And where from, might from this, from this interview, mm. we still have to talk. We still have to have some elders sit us down. This is... Counseling? This is going to be our thing. And when we agree, good, okay, this is what's up. We are good. We are 100 with each other. Mm. Then we can look at that. But don't just assume that Muno Akaita Mukadza go England. He was Zimbabwe. He's so much crazy about wanting to be in England. I've had a lot of opportunities to just stay in England. And I've still come back home. And I'll always come back home. So that's that's your story for now. Yeah. So just to, to come back to the, the key issues here that we've addressed today. Um, being your position with your wife, that you are, like you said, still waking up and going to sleep in the same bed. You're working on things and you're most likely going to stay together. Um, what would you say to your fans, as well as people that look at you as a role model, um, regarding what you've just been through in, in the image that's been portrayed of you? It's not all good. Um, so what message would you give to them, first and foremost? <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'd like to answer a certain question that I saw on the net. Which one? First of all, somebody asked me, Andy, stand up, so I wasn't going to have a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wanted to get technical, but you know what, I've got the evidence of what you have and don't have. No, okay, no just, I just want to get it. Feel free. No, the problem was that. Zangu hembe ini, zangu nini, zangu tinga, zangu zangu wandisa. So now I had to take hair bags. Oh, so I at the time of that footage, yes. it was her suitcase because your bags were full. Yeah, and that's not a big one. I think that's receiving. I thought you were working things out. Yeah, but when I, when I get home, you know, and I'm like, okay, are you satisfied with what I said with Ruvenico? If you're not, you know, me and my bag, you know. And I, now is your time, please. If you have any more questions for Sana, okay, Desmond Chidemi, please uh, send them through now. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We try to make this as easily accessible to all of you as possible. So now is your time.
Tim JP. Tim JP. Yeah, these are what's up. Oh, groups. Tim. Tim JP. Right, okay. And I know uh, Mr. Putiti, that's XQ. <laughs> Mr. Putiti. That, that's, that's his group. It's mm -hmm. like this new thing that's coming with the new age and the social, where artists have WhatsApp groups. Right. And when you have a show, you have your people that just say you're loyal, that you know, young mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. So you end up having this bond with they're like your friends. Mm -hmm. So what happened with that phone? I had two phones. So no one, but no one along who you know, like like eh, no phone. I was trying to change phone. I didn't give away like I've given away right, phone. Right. Because I change the phone. It's okay. Just like the same thing. Trigger. I've given him a phone. I've got a young kid. So the kid phone and, that you allegedly gave to a girlfriend. That's not true. She is not my girlfriend like that. And I'm not going to get into detail. She's not your girlfriend. But like, you admitted that you like, cheated with her. You see, you don't always do that. Nyangu kanu badara mono murodi. <laughs> Those and that he, I've explained to my wife. So your wife had a conversation with this woman, yes, right? And but she got the... She asked the question, the pertinent question was, so do you guys have a relationship? Do you sit and have coffees, call so each other? That's what you're saying. Uh -uh. That's, you gave that an example. What, that is what you're but saying. But you don't get now. Uh -uh. Because now you're accusing me. You are not going to get it. And you don't get it. So let's do the same. Right. It's a talk show. Okay. Let's use words. It's a talk show. So let's don't don't put words on me that I haven't uh, said. You said it. You I'm, said I'm, you gave I'm an giving, example. I'm giving you examples. Okay. So this right. lady. So just because the taku da mama uskwa ndika no feed amombe it doesn't mean to mombe ang. Okay. Right. That's another example. I could give you a whole lot. So you gave this lady a cell phone. Why? Because, like I just told you, you have people that you move with that eventually become your friends. So like you gave I a have, friend a cell phone. Yes, I have, known, I have known her for two years. So you, and I have, you know, take it as your name I have, have, I have, it is my phone. Remember, the I've, minute been, she I've, hands been, I've been, I've been, I've been married for how long? A year. Customarily. I don't. Right now, wait, wait, wait. Right now, if we were to break up, if you were with somebody for three months, mm. You wait, wait, if you break up with your husband and you've been married for three months, mm -hmm. or even girlfriend, if you stay with her for more than a year, mm -hmm. if you break up, she can go to court and get half of what's yours. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? So her going around saying, Are my, sure? going, my, 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 it's not my, 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 it's ours. Okay, you can justify that. It's want. not being justified. The point is, what about baby phone? Young. Right, baby Rako Kanati, phone uh, I actually need a phone at that moment in time. The same way I have four other people that have phones for so me. So you were you bless people sometimes with the gifts that you're given. You sometimes just bless if you people. if you need this and I feel I don't need it, I'll give you. Wow. So okay, you know this sounds like we're backtracking or or even taking ten steps back. <laughs> I'm so just, I'm not going I'm to take saying. this further because I don't want to. I don't want to lose focus of what this conversation is about. You've already admitted what you admitted. Mm -hmm. And so I asked you to address something to your fans and the people that look up to you. You did already, huh, did you? Yes, but to my, to, people... my, to my fans, like, honestly, I didn't really address anything yeah. to my fans. Mm -hmm. I mean, by now, I'm sure they, they, they follow me. We have a lot of ups and downs. But in the end, I get the job done. Mm -hmm. Right. And most of these issues, they're usually just personal issues. It's not like I come out like, some people that curse at fans or do whatever, I've never done that. Mm -hmm. So with my fans, they know I get the job done. They say, dude, we want awards end of the year, I give them awards. We want a hit song, I give them a hit song. Mm -hmm. So I'm really sorry my fans have to be dragged into personal things that really do not need because what they just want is music. Right. right. And relatives, relatives, I'm going... Ahmad Zahu. I am really sorry because you keep getting into all this and I apologize from the deepest depths of my heart. Mm -hmm. I apologize and I hope this does not happen again. And after we have the talk, you know, when we get home or and everything, and I, I'm, I'm just hoping we have a decision where everybody is happy and we move on with life. I would really love for that to happen. Who wouldn't want to be happy? Mm -hmm. 
I, I definitely want to be happy. But if we get to a decision where I'm not happy, she's not happy, and we have to go apart again to my fans, you have known Stana for the longest time. I've been able to take care of myself. I can take care of myself. Please do not worry. Although he ready. doesn't mind being taken care of. I do not. I, I totally do he not mind. mind. It works too. It That's works good. too. If you were my wife, please. And he doesn't mind also taking care of you with his wife's money. He doesn't mind either. Because if you need something, he'll give it to you. I'm summarizing our conversation. You're summarizing our conversation. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's okay. And then um, the other thing, you know, is uh, in terms of apologies and people that I feel you should address. Um, there is also the element of the people or the woman that was implicated by the wrong name calling, right? There was a woman, this woman in question. Dion Chessa. I didn't want to say her name, so I don't want to put her out there again because there's some people that didn't even know her name. But what would you say to someone like that? An innocent victim roped into this drama. Her um, life could have completely <laughs> changed. Actually, I think, I think she's learned a lesson that oh. you do not play with social media like that because she put out a post and she's like, I am the other woman. <laughs> That's what she did. As a joke, yeah. As a joke. Mm -hmm. But you can play with certain names, and like I said, I'm not going to assume that I am big in this country, and I'm not being cocky, but right now I know that I can affect a lot of people, affect a lot of lives, and I've been the topic of discussion for two, three days now. So please. But we start recruiting Dege Mashanga because what child was done. No, it's not necessarily good. Dege child is really going passport yaga to Zara. It's not necessarily good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's the problem, no, it's not necessarily good, but I'm trying to address the issue that social media is there, but people are abusing it. Right. They do not know how to handle it. Sure. Don't just comment because you feel you have bundles. Sure. Right? Because sometimes someone says something really smack at me, and I feel like I want to reply. Then you open profile picture, and you're like, really? Is this the person that's saying this to me? Sometimes just read, laugh if you have to laugh. And then just, you don't have to comment on everything. Right. Because now she commented on this. People started getting at her. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I owe her an apology. In fact, she should owe, she should apologize to the people that she did what she sure, did. Sure. All right. Well, that's clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, to all the women that perhaps thought that son is now on the market in light of this, can you clarify oh, she, that? Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, I'm not bragging when I'm saying this, but I'm going, uh, first I'm going to address all the women that are texting me right now. Trust me, I have enough the text in my phone. Maybe give the phone back to Muridzi. Women she can answer for you. Women, no, that one is not hers. <laughs> okay. And and this whole talk about bring back my car or what everybody knows, I am not driving. Right. I wasn't driving. I'm not a licensed driver. I am not driving. Okay. So I wasn't there driving anything. Sure, sure. I got my manager there, he mm -hmm. drives me. Sure. These women I've been thinking you're all compassionate and you're feeling for your for for, for another woman and everything. But I have women buzzing my phone. Hi, I am who? Hey, can we exchange pictures? And well, I'm not trying to get your pictures. Mm -hmm. I don't want this. So you all can act like you, you're you pissed off. I have people that are known, they're texting me. <laughs> right? Saying, hey, if you ever need to talk. No, I don't need to talk with you. But I'm you good. said you've got fans and you've got people. That no, 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 no. So I'm not wrong. trying to get to their intentions. I know. Right. I'm grown. Right. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm so not interested. Right. And... In some in another life or anything, if I wanted to find someone, I am like a cat. I do not choose my ma my master does not choose me. I choose my master. Right. So. Another comment that I do w w would like you to address is that from women that I would say feminists in particular, those mm -hmm. ones that definitely took aside a strong stance against you, um, seeing the pain that you put another woman through. I believe one of the comments that came on Facebook uh, from Noma Temba Devele was, um, "Sana, you hurt one woman. You've hurt all of us." What would you say to women? Because a lot of your fans are women. So what would you say to them? Um, to all the women out there, right? Be, or I don't know if I said before or after. Like I've been saying, I'm, I'm sure I didn't give you all the answers that you wanted. I've just been saying, you know what? I've explained to and my wife. And you don't wife. have to. You answer to I, one woman. So. I've been, yeah, like yeah. I'm saying, I've explained to my wife. And I will keep explaining to her until she gets it. Maybe it'll be up to her. Maybe if she has a genuine thing and she'll put this big picture of me saying no my husband or whatever but the feminists that are out there mm -hmm. right I think they really need to try to look at both sides because I start seeing them saying we're going to boycott his show and oh what 
I would say thank you very much if you actually considered to come into the show, but now you want to boycott this show because of what you think happened, not because of the facts that you have. No, but you've explained the facts. The right. fact is you hurt your wife, and that's so, all that no, you're about. So, nobody in all that happened, I never put a hand on my wife. That should mean something. You put a hand I, on her heart, which is worse. Listen, I'm getting somewhere. Which is worse. I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. I never left the house, which is where the heart is. I stayed in the house to work things out, to say, look, my wife, this is what it is. It's like A, B, C, D, E. So if I didn't care for women, if I didn't care for her, I'd have been like, ah, Shandi, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go to my baby. I'm going to go to my baby. I'm going to go to my baby. So I, I, I did all that, but I'm still in the house. Mm. I'm still going to go back and everything. And now, look, I got tears in my eyes. Please, boy. Are those real tears? I have this. Why are you so, tearing up? So why are you, why are you tearing <laughs> up? Because all oh, this, this is crazy. The, the way the way she reacted and maybe I didn't react or whatever but at, on the real people should just get out of my life that's what I want I just try and do music yeah that's all I've been doing I don't know why people are paying me because I'm saying number one moon and some of them are but Zimbabweans hate me and I know that for a fact I know friends that I hang with that hate me. But I talk with them because at the end of the day, I need to talk with someone. Right. Look at Andrindega in my house and everything, you know. It's okay. So all this that is happening, you ask me if I still love my wife, I said yes. I'm saying yes because I'm, I'm trying to think there is hope. Mm. But the honest truth is that I'm hurt. This has never, I've been married before. My wife wronged me and I, and I wronged her, but no one knows about it. Not even my mother knows why I broke up with my first wife. Right. I don't know how my mom feels about my wife right now. Because I have gained so much. I I'm still out here, I'm wearing clothes that I bought and I'm looking good. Right. If she's listening, this, this was never about talking about it. I have a lot that I could say. Maybe that's why I'm tearing up. I have a lot. But I won't because I'm thinking, when I saw her, I chose her. I chose a wife. I didn't choose Moon. Whatever Facebook, I just my light when she pulls up a red carpet. I chose a wife. I thought to myself, this is my time to settle down. I'm, I'm really angry is an understatement, Kuti. She went on Facebook. No one does that. Right. I've cancelled a lot of people. Even on other person, I think it's so dirty. It's never. Trust me, if she had packed her bags out at Shibuda, but for what she did, I can't say sorry to her because she took revenge. Right. Successfully, clearly, because it's hurt you, and her going out there I'm, was intended intended to intended, hit you where it hurts. Intended to hit me. This is this is we are at war in my house, and I'm still trying to fight to say, look, we are here. I want this to work, not because of anything right. Chirukupi, but because I saw her and I thought to myself, look, I like this person. Tungara Chimba, old school music. She's my age. You know, we have an age difference of about four years. She's younger than me. And when we sing, we sing in Kenny Larimore, we sing in Aliyah, we what, 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 That's my person. Right. But this, Unzu Unzi, Muruma, I saw, I done that. I'm supposed to come to you and say sorry, but now when you tell people, I didn't cheat on Facebook. Mm. Yeah. This is the kind of action to all these feminists that you're talking about. This action, which took our room because maybe, you know, you got this money and what? This is what will make Murumano for Greston Park. About to come back to our garden, because our own Baba Mawia, Baba Makadi. Because now you think, yeah, yeah, I've got this. Now you tell me, you are the great It's not even supposed to be like that. Right. Right. You all don't like me. You don't like my music. It's okay. But regret that we Let me do what I do. I'm not doing it for you. I have five people out there that care about what I sing. Let me just sing for them, you know? Yeah. 
I'm gonna leave this place, go home. Whatever happens, happens. But yeah. honestly speaking, I think you've you've no. definitely said a lot. Um, I think on on that note, I don't want to add any more. I think it's very clear that emotions have been struck both from both sides, and uh, we are not here, Stana or Linda. We're not here to play judge or jury. It's as we said, an issue that was put in our face. And it's something we reacted to, whether we felt for you, whether we felt for Linda, or just as people. There's things that happen that we cannot ignore. And because you're a public figure, you're a celebrity, you're somebody that people respect and know. And uh, this has happened. Um, and so like we said, we're not here to judge the situation. But what I do hope for everybody watching this today, that we can put this issue to bed and let the two of them handle it in their home. And at the end of the day, we all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. So I hope that this does answer every single question that's out there regarding the private lives of these two people. Sometimes we forget that they're people. Um, so we're going to we're going to close off on that note. And uh, thank you very much for giving us your time, Desmond, and Rubenico. Um, and it has been a pleasure being able to host this very important social conversation um, right now. So thank you for your time, and uh, we'll be back with more. 2017 is a big year. We'll be good. Uh, so be good, and if you can't be good, be safe. Cool.